Hello Vivo, so in this video we're going to be taking a quick look into the basics of Marmoset 3 2 bag um, We're going to go from 0 to something like this in a quick second So first thing, let's open a new scene um, It's going to look like this, so first step we got to load up our model uh, We have several formats that are accepted, we have 3DS, FBX and OBJ, the ones I tried and worked really well um, unfortunately not that blend yet, but um, you can use this and export it inside Blender, like, no problem, just make sure there's no hidden objects or no objects in other um, layers. So here, it took me 5 minutes to figure out how to rotate the camera, and it turns out you have to press ALT and left click. So this way you can rotate the camera around and right click, you can zoom in or zoom out, or you can use the scroll to do this. And if you put, you know, always holding out and the middle button, you can do the little hand to, you know, ju you know just move yourself around the scene. Um, so that said, there is the model. Nice. Uh, here we should have two materials. We should have the material already attached to it and the default material. We can choose either one of these. It doesn't really matter because we're going to change the, you know, all the materials over here. So all the, you know, textures. So as long as you drag them and just edit the one we have selected, you can just double jack and just let's go and move on into the editing this material. So that's the first step now. We have the object over here. Let's take a look at the maps. Over here we have normal, so let's just click this little guy and let's go ahead uh, na -na -na -na, and drive through our textures. Here I'm gonna be choosing my normal. You can already see a little bit of difference. You know, you can see something popped out here for the normals. Um, micro surface, gloss, so here, on my case, I only have roughness, so I'm going to be changing this one to roughness, just like this, and you can already see another little change, and we're going to keep going. So now we're going to plug in my diffuse. Albedo can be called diffuse or color map. Uh, it doesn't really matter here, though. You can leave this at Albedo. And by the way, here you got a match. You just make sure that, you know, it's going to have the same function, but you have some different variations of the same map. So just make sure it's the coin city one with your um, the short textures. Um, the fusion, not really gonna change this, and here on reflectivity, I have metalness. So I'm just gonna change this one to metalness now, and voila! I have my airplane now, nice! Um, so now we got the first big step done, so what's the next one? It's the illumination, and in order to change this, we're gonna go up here to sky. Uh, here we have some presets, if you click presets, you can see some different ones, and you can navigate through and spend an entire hour just <laughs> selecting the right one for you. But after like two hours trying to figure out which one is the best one, I found that this one's a really good one. So I'm just gonna stick to this one. Um, here you have some really self-explanatory uh, changes that you can make. I'll uh, just go ahead and uh, plug in what it feels best for you. If you click over the HDR, you can see that it can um, create some different lighting for you. So if you feel like there's any part you should focus on, you can just um, play it around and see you find the perfect spot, you know, it is a 360 map, so you should be able to find it 360 through the both axes. So for example, over here into the nose of the airplane, um, non child light brightness, I can go ahead and turn this on, and you can see that now the nose of the airplane is illuminated. So yeah, so this is a really good feature, now that makes it better than Sketchfab. <laughs> um, you have some other settings here, but um, here is the an another really important one, which is the backdrop. Here's the backdrop, you can change a little bit of settings, what I like doing is, um, you know, I'm just going to show you what these ones do. So first of all, you can choose a color, change it over here, the color thing. Uh, you have the sky, which is, you know, just the original HDR without any kind of application to it. have blur sky, which is going to apply the little blur here, which you can change. And here is the one that's, you know, default one, I mean, Sky is just going to be taking a look at the ambient and just going to be putting this one as the backdrop. So I like cranking up that blur, putting a little darkness to the ground so you can actually see the model better and have, like, a lot of contrast. With the original one, you can focus better. And by the way, if you press shift and right click, you can change the uh, rotation on the HDR without actually rotating the airplane like this. Okay. Oops, like this. Okay, so, um, <coughs> illumination done, now, congratulations, let's move on to the next step, which is the render. Um, I'm doing this sequence, by the way, it's important that you do in this sequence, because it's usually the workflow you gotta do, it's like, if you just do the other way around, things are gonna get confused, and you, you, no, you get the point. Here, if you wanna use wireframe, go ahead, check this one, play around the values. 
Uh, anything that you see that has a refraction or refractive is when you have a transparent, translucent object. I don't know, no, a translucent object, like a jelly, and you just want to play around, so just, you know, just plug that in. I like putting local reflections on because you can see how much of a difference it makes. I think it makes more realistic. I'm not entirely sure what it makes, but it just looks much better, you know. And here, like, you just gotta really check in the boxes and make it, you know, look better. You don't really need to think about it very much. Um, I like leaving global illumination on because it also <laughs> makes it look better. Um, and just go ahead and play around with the values a little bit. Just makes what it's best here with the shadows. Um, or the illumination, sorry, here you can just do a little bit more fine tuning to your illumination. And, um, and yeah, so here, down here we have ambient occlusion. It's a little like darkness effect they have on sharp edges inwards, so I like leaving this on a little bit also. And now we are done with the render step, so now I'm gonna move on and to go into the final step, which is the main camera one. Here on this main camera one, um, it's actually, um, the final one that you gotta do here, you can you know open up your change of view, if you want to things to a little a little bit more dramatic, you know. But I'm just yeah, I like leaving this like maybe around 50. And um and over here, over here you have a little bit of you know setting to place. You have that feud, you have you know just a lot of really cool stuff that you can play around. But uh, I don't really like leaving this on because I don't like it being unfocused, especially when you're gonna show off a project. Um, flare, you know, you can have some little lights here and there, but not really something I'm a big fan of. What I'm a big fan of, though, is here the color section. So on the color section, you can change some settings here, as the contrast is one that I like. Um, and also the saturation, which makes things a little bit more colorful. Now, just make sure this is the last step. Because, for example, if I think my model is not bright enough, I'm gonna turn the exposure um, a lot, you know, then is gonna let you know just turn on all this exposure by itself and not the actual background with the lighting so it's best if you actually do this first you know in the last step possible and then you move your way from there so instead of just you know bringing up the exposure up what is actually the right thing to do is bring up the brightness over here um, or maybe this one if I find it necessary so just make sure you just make this okay because otherwise it's just gonna you know make things look a little less better than they could be. I'm just gonna, you know, just turn this whole brightness up. Yeah, you get the point. Okay, so we just play around with what looks good here. And just be careful in this section, okay? Just be really careful because uh, when you're playing around and you have your own model, whenever you have something that's yours, you never <laughs> are really critical about it. You're always like just finding the good things about it and it's really hard for you to criticize your things. So unless you have someone to give a really honest feedback by your side while you're doing this, uh, be careful with these values, with these filters and everything because it's so easy to overdo it and not even realize it when you are the owner of your creation, okay? Vignette is this little thing here that I like. Um, yeah, I'm just not gonna do a little big strength on this one, just a tiny bit that I cannot do in C. Um, so just be careful, you know, just do your thing and just try not to go over the limit because it's so easy, it just happens a lot of times and uh, this is from experience, you know, like you just usually find like, oh my god, like I gotta try this new effect, look at this, I have some fucking flares, dude. Uh, and then like, <laughs> of course it's not this exaggerated, but um, it does happen a lot of times, just, just be careful. And that's all, so if I press space bar, I can see the full thing now, I can see, you know, just rotate it a little bit. I can put some more saturation if I want to, make things a little bit brighter, uh, this much though. Uh, but that's it, um, so that's the whole thing, thank you guys for watching, um, if you guys feel like, you know, just doing a little, grabbing a little airplane for yourself and flying around the road, uh, there's the link to my story in the, in the description also, so if you just wanna grab one by yourself, just go ahead and use this one. Um, of course not necessary though, you're, you're not gonna die <laughs> in 5 minutes or anything, I'm not gonna say this. Um, but, um, but that's it, so thank you guys for watching very much, love you all, beijos.